Hey, hello, what's up guys? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl. Why did I just whip? It's not 2014 anymore. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, first things first, you're probably like, what the crap happened to your hair? Um, it's black now. That's cool. <laughs> um, secondly, today's video totally has to do with to all the boys I've loved before, which you're probably like, bruh, no one cares. And I'm like, but this is a good video and you're gonna know why in about a second. Also, I know my lips look like poop. I just wanted to try the like brown lip thing real fast. I regret it a lot. <laughs> but um, even though I'm just gonna commend to all the boys I love on a couple things first, um, the acting, because yes, the representation, because Laura Kander, yeah, can we just, I'm gonna put a photo right here and we're just gonna clap around that because yes, queen. We love representation in Hollywood, finally. Um, the cinematography is f freaking beautiful. Um, it's obviously Vancouver because Vancouver is amazing. And um, God, you know, the musical soundtrack, everything about that movie is so amazing. I love rom-coms. I'm a 10 things I hate about you kind of person. I love Heath Ledger and that entire movie. and. That, that's gotten up to that standard, you know? It's like, I have a very high standard for rom- for, ooh, for rom-coms. And like, 10 things I hate about you is at the top, you know? And if like, you don't get there, like, I'm not gonna consider like, you a good movie, right? To all the boys I've loved before is like, right next to it. So like, we're gonna clap that one out too. And I'm not here to just, you know, rant on how amazing that movie is. I'm here to tell you why the message from the movie and the book, which I really need to read, by the way, which I'm going to. Um, it's actually really amazing for this like upcoming generation. And it's because it's teaching us how to accept heartbreak and learn how to love. And I think that's truly like so amazing in itself because our generation, let me, let me just tell, let me just cross my knees here. Our generation is very sucky at love. Like, let me just, we suck at being in relationships. Like I cannot tell you the amount of times I have been cheated on. I have been like ghosted because I mean like everybody, the amount of times I've seen girls in like my high school get heartbroken and like, we just don't know how to love. We don't know how to accept heartbreak. We don't know how to accept love. We're like a really, we're like a really shitty generation when it comes to love. I'm just gonna say that. We're a really shitty generation when it comes to love because we're constantly like connected to our phones and we don't know how to interact like, real people and this movie it it really hits that to the freaking t <laughs> because <sighs> laura jean and peter actually talk people they're not on their phones being like i love you let's break up no they're like talking they have a a freaking contract and they learn to love each other because they're in contact with each other. They learn how to accept heartbreak because they're in contact with each other. It's not because they're on their phones and they have like a phone relationship or whatever. It's because they spend time with each other, like quality time with each other. And they're learning how to accept all these things that come with love. And I think it's truly freaking beautiful because it's just like our generation sucks. <laughs> I, I keep repeating that, but like we do. Honestly, like, Growing up, like being a like 1999 child and just finishing high school and stuff, like 95% of the relationships in high school, like my high school, were very like phone based, very like social media based, like very kind of fake versus very real sentimental, you know? And that kind of what is what Laura Jean and Peter hit on, like, oh, let's be fake to make these things happen, like to, I'm gonna kind of spoiler alert this because if you haven't watched the video, like the movie, like please just like pause here, go watch it, come back because you need to. Um, spoiler alert, they're doing this because Laura Jean's letters were sent out. So like, yeah. Okay, hi, I'm back. My mom came home when she just wanted to talk to me. Look at that, fixed it. Um, 
What was I talking about? Oh yeah, we're talking about Peter and Laura Jean. Because why not? As I was saying, this generation sucks at love. And I think it's kind of great that the whole movie centers around how to love and how to like deal with heartbreak in general. And I think it's just a wonderful movie and you guys should totally watch it. If you're in the rom-coms and like, sorry, my hair is being a butt. And being a teenager and just needing advice because it's such a funny and wonderful movie at the same time. And I know this sounds like greatly like a review, but it's okay, kind of it is, but it's also kind of like a lesson in itself. I really appreciate it. And Noah Centineo is really hot, so. <laughs> hey, Noah, if you're out there, I love you. <laughs> but um, this is all I can really think of at the moment for like what I wanted to say. This is really, bleh. this wasn't really planned out that well. I had a dream about this and I kind of wanted to just talk about it because it's been like floating in my mind and it like won't come off my mind. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. If you want me to talk about it more, leave some questions and comments or whatever, or you can say I'm absolutely crazy and dumb for just speaking about this on a whole. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time and comment some video ideas or things you want me to see want to see me do. I'll see you next time babes and reminders this is not a Disney channel. <laughs>